We have spoken plenty about critically successful and beloved games that are unlikely to receive sequels anytime soon, owing to their commercial failures. But sometimes, for some reason or other, even games that see decent success on both critical and commercial fronts can end up spelling the end for their franchise. Here, we're going to be talking about a few such excellent titles that are unlikely to get sequels in the near future, or ever, and why they're in the situation we find them in. Forget it. We've both heard enough speeches about higher causes by now. History will decide who's right. End of story. Portal 2. We could basically put the entire Valve catalog in here. The joke goes that Valve doesn't know how to count beyond two. And that can be applied to so many of the company's properties. Portal, for instance, absolutely smashed it with its second installment, delivering an instant masterpiece that was widely beloved by pretty much everyone who played it. And a lot of people have played it. It's widely regarded as one of the best games of its time, lauded for its clever gameplay and incredible writing, among other things, while commercially it's been quite a success too. And yet, with Valve focused on Steam, and now the Steam Deck, it's unlikely that Portal will continue. At least we recently got Aperture Desk Job, though, so that's something, right? Left 4 Dead 2 We'll put another Valve franchise in here because it's one of the many that you are obviously thinking about. Left 4 Dead maybe has a better chance of coming back than Portal does, owing to the fact that it has a greater mass appeal, but again, the chances of that happening, at least anytime soon, are quite slim, if that. It's a known fact that a Left 4 Dead 3 is something that Valve has tried to get off the ground in the past, though that project got ultimately shelved, which is more than enough as indications go about what the future holds for the franchise. There have been several Left 4 Dead clones over the years that have tried to replicate the success of Valve's franchise, including last year's Back 4 Blood, but nothing has quite been able to scratch that itch. It's more than a little disappointing that the itch will remain unscratched for quite some time. Burnout Paradise It's hard to think of many arcade racing franchises that can even come close to reaching the heights that Criterion Games' Burnout series summited time and time again. Burnout 3 Takedown is perhaps the greatest racing game of all time, Burnout Revenge is a spectacular follow-up, and Burnout Paradise is an excellent open-world realization of the series' beloved formula. And sure enough, the critical success of these games has been reflected in their sales as well. But EA doesn't seem to care. Need for Speed is the racing series that EA wants to focus on, and its criterion itself, that's taking charge of the series, so it's hard to see a scenario where Burnout 2 gets a revival, and a successful one at that. That Burnout Paradise remaster a couple years ago might be the closest we'll get to a new Burnout game for a long, long time. Okami Okami was obviously going to be in here. Yes, technically we did get an Okami follow-up with Okami Den on the Nintendo DS, but we're talking about a full-fledged console sequel which is unlikely to happen. There was once a time when the universal acclaim of Okami didn't even come close to matching its sales, which were disappointing at best, that after all was one of the reasons the sequel never got made, though not the only reason. With re-releases over the years, however, Okami has accumulated decent sales, and still the sequel looks unlikely. If an Okami 2 does ever happen, it won't be anytime soon. Bully. You're dead, new kid! Dead! Hey, you! Break it up! Ah, yes, Bully. The beloved Rockstar game that we all can't stop talking about. That we all keep hoping will return in some capacity at some point, and yet, it never does. Rockstar as a company seems to be focused entirely on Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead, though. Gone are the days of Rockstar Game Presents Table Tennis and Midnight Clubs. This company has put all of its energy into maximizing its profits in the areas where it already makes bank. And does something like Bully 2 fit into that model? Somehow, we doubt it. It's unfortunate, of course, but sadly, it is what it is. Recent leaks have suggested that that might not actually be the case, but you know what? We've been burned before. We'll see it when we believe it. 
Warcraft 3. It's an absolute shame that this is on the list. Sure, World of Warcraft is still trudging along, but World of Warcraft has become the face of the franchise, even though originally it was the MMORPG spin-off of the Legendary RTS series. We seem to be far, far away from those days now though. It's hard to imagine Blizzard making a real-time strategy Warcraft 4, because when it comes to Warcraft, it looks like the company is focused on maximizing profits, which means more WoW expansions and the odd mobile game here and there. And again, that's a damn shame. It's Warcraft for crying out loud. Maybe Microsoft will have the good sense to do the right thing when the franchise is under their control. One can hope, right? Brutal Legend Calling Brutal Legend a critical and commercial success might not be 100% accurate because its success on both fronts had significant caveats, but that success is still undeniable. There's no shortage of people who absolutely fell in love with its unique gameplay blend, its world and story and writing, which is typical enough for a Double Fine game, and it's a game that has sold north of a million copies, so it's not exactly a flop either. But Brutal Legends was the subject of an intense legal battle involving Activision and Double Fine, which meant that plans for a sequel had to be shelved, which, by the way, nearly ended up destroying Double Fine. Coincidentally, Double Fine and Activision are both Xbox-owned now, or will be once the Activision deal is finalized. So maybe there's still hope for a sequel. Maybe. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance Anything to do with Metal Gear seems dead and buried at this point, but there are rumors, as there usually are, that Metal Gear Solid remakes are in the works, so just for now, we'll put that aside. But Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, in particular, is one game that is almost definitely never going to get a direct follow-up. In spite of how excellent it was, and in spite of the fact that it sold well enough to warrant a sequel, why? Because it's difficult enough to imagine Konami greenlighting a new Metal Gear Solid game. Why on earth would they give the go-ahead for a Metal Gear Rising sequel if even the parent franchise is having a hard time carving out a future for itself. We hope to be proven wrong about this, but it seems highly unlikely that there will be, at least for several more years, if not more. Bloodborne We hate the fact that Bloodborne is on this list, but no matter how hard we are lying to ourselves, we still remain unconvinced that this generational masterpiece will ever receive a sequel. Lauded as one of the greatest games ever made, with sales that exceed Sony's expectations, you'd think that a sequel would be a no-brainer. But apparently there's no brains involved in the decision making here, because a Bloodborne 2 remains as elusive as ever. Sony is not even remastering the original game for PC or the PS5. Hell, Sony isn't even releasing a 60 frames per second patch for the original. Given all that, we struggle to see a scenario where the sequel gets greenlit. Stranger things have happened, of course, and we hope something really strange happens here. But it doesn't look like it will. As depressing as that may be. Star Wars Battlefront 2 This applies to both Battlefront 2s, but let's stick with the more recent one, developed by DICE and published by EA. Star Wars Battlefront 2 was always going to be a commercial success, but it was far away from being a critical one when it first launched. Of course, DICE managed to turn things around, and Battlefront 2 has for a while now been an absolutely stellar game. But it's probably not going to get a sequel. DICE is focused fully on Battlefield now, and we all know how well that's going. It's strange that a multi-million selling Star Wars game isn't getting a sequel, but it seems we will have to make peace with the fact that Battlefront subseries is never going to be able to get past the number two. Did you know that we at Gaming Bolt upload new videos every day? Stick around, drop a like, subscribe, and let us know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future with a comment below.